Wow, 15 pound and powered by the sun. Are these any good? From Goodman's. Right, so I was out and about in my local B&M the other day and I came across these. Now they are true wireless solar powered earphones from Goodman's. Goodman's are now owned by B&M in the UK. And Goodman's products are a little bit hit and miss, should we say. The last set of earbuds I got from Goodman's were rubbish. They were dead tinny and for phone calls they were just absolutely garbage. So I picked up these. Now. What brought me attention to it was obviously solar powered earphones so we'll have a quick look around the box now the boxes are always very well presented by goodman's very nice nicely made and as i say presented so around the front we have solar power charging 12 hours of playback touch controls and a powerful bass as well around the side it just carries the graphics on around the back as well We've got some specs, should we say. So, true wireless powered earphones from Goodman's. Stream music via Bluetooth. Charging case with Type-C, so you can also charge it via um, Type-C as well. And a solar powered, obviously. Requires three hours solar charging in full sunlight for one hour playback. Touch controls, stereo sound, IPX5 sweatproof. Built-in microphone, obviously for phone calls, one-step auto pairing, what's in the box? So in the box, wireless earphones, charging station with solar-powered charging, and a USB-C cable and instruction manual. So as I say, very well presented box there by Goodman's, and a little bit of history on Goodman's as well. Uh, we believe great products should be innovative, attractive, and affordable. So with over 100 years of experience, uh, I won't go into the detail, but since 1923 in uh, in England as well. So yeah, pull the little tab off, and we have the earbuds with the charging station. There's the solar power there. I'll just show you the uh, the earbuds as well, actually. So I chose black. There was white and there was black. So I chose black because. Uh, I don't quite, I don't like white earbuds because uh, I work in quite a mucky environment and I sometimes wear them for work, so uh, yeah. So in this little bag, all you've got is just uh, different sizes to, to fit your ear. Uh, we have the USB-C charging cable, which is just your standard type A to type C. And we have a little lanyard as well which hmm, it's probably going to be useful maybe i'm thinking at festivals right so instruction manual as well so i'm not really going to read everything out because you've got um wow you've got i've got this hair that's stuck in my eye just there it's a cat here yeah the book is quite extensive and it goes on for whew, quite quite a lot Quite a lot of pages as you can see so anyway i have paired these to my phone and uh, i'll show you in a minute i'll try and show you you know uh, how good they are so it just goes on about setup and you know how to use it and the, the the part of the book where i found the more interesting was where it says charging your solar powered earphones so it says a built-in rechargeable battery that can be used anywhere before using it for the first time fully recharge it and just connect it to the wall basically uh, alternatively it can be charged by solar energy no need for ac power this charging case will directly turn solar energy into dc electrical power for charging when under the sunshine so it does say it's sunshine only um 
so there's a probably a little bit of um maybe an issue there because in the uk we don't get much sun so yeah i think it can only really be charged in you know summertime or maybe if we get sun in the winter i don't know sometimes we do actually get sun in the winter so here's the box just pause that if you want to have a look it just basically says um it just says import and output uh, enabled battery capacity is 40 mah so it's 80 because there's two charging case is 300 mah and it just says bnm retail um liverpool 24 uh, batch number and the true wireless earphones so here they are now so as soon as you open them they go into like on mode basically and we're just gonna take them out and i think if i can just I don't know if you can hear that, but they're already paired to my phone. And they just sit nicely just there. So what I'm going to do, and it's always hard to tell the, the, the viewers how sort of like good these things are, or, or explain or show. Now we have a song called A Final Hit by Left Field, which if I ever buy any earphones or anything, uh, sound I always play this song because it's got a cracking cracking better bass I'm not gonna play it all because I'm not gonna get copyrighted so here's where the bass kicks in and I don't know how this is gonna show up on camera but I'll just try and there may be a little bit of interference uh, with the the microphone on the earphone but the bass is it's there it's not like overpowering Sometimes as well, these can feel a little bit tinny, but most songs I play, they're quite good. And, you know, calls as well. I've done a few phone calls on these and they're quite good. They're quite clear. As I say, my previous earbuds, which I think are floating in this drawer somewhere. So I got these a while ago. And these are around about 15 quid, USB thing, yo. And these are earbuds. And for calls, they are absolutely garbage. But for listening to music in bed and that, and general, you know, sort of like out and about, they're not too bad. But phone calls are just, you know. I've done a video on these as well. I'll link it in the description. But yeah, they're not the best for phone calls. And most of the times, people said, I can't hear you. Yeah, they're quite. Let me just try one more song. Let me just get that feel for on it. So we're going to play Funeral for a Friend, Streetcar which is quite loud. As I say, there's not a great deal of bass knocking around in these. They're just sort of like mid-range bass. They're not, they're not overpowering, and it depends what song you play. Sometimes you can hear it good, sometimes it just it sounds a bit tinny, but, you know, for 15 quid, not bad. Now, I haven't had the chance to charge these via the sun because it has been pissing down in the UK for the last <sighs> forever. So maybe I'm thinking if you leave that on a windowsill and you've got no sun, maybe it might trickle charge. I don't know, because you do sort of get, it's not direct sunlight, but you know, you, you might get some sort of trickle charging off that. I don't know. And where that would come into, well, be the most handy for you, I'd say is probably festivals. If you're away for three, four or five days and you listen to music, um, in your tent or whatever um, that could be a very good option that but um yeah i just bought them because obviously you know solar powered earbuds or earphones never seen them before and um i just thought yeah give them a whale 15 quid i mean pff, you can't go wrong you've got the two little led charging in the cases as well the front as i say you lift it up and as soon as you close it they start to charge and then obviously when it's charged, it just goes off as well. But there's not much else to say about them really, other than, you know, open the top and you go into pairing mode there. And they're quite quick to pair as well with your phone. It was literally like instant. You take them out, they start, to, they start flashing, search on your phone, and then Bob's your uncle, we were in business. So yeah, uh, would I recommend them? Um, I would, for 15 quid. Um, they are quite good actually, to be fair. And I'm going to let them drain down. And I'm going to just let that, well leave that on the window ledge or something like that and see if i can just maybe get a charge from just 
just natural daylight rather than direct sunlight. I think if they're any good and going by today's standards of solar charging, um, you don't really need direct sunlight. Um, some solar lights I know that just work solely off daylight. They just cha trickle charge all day. Obviously, when you get sunlight, it's like fast charger, but other than that, you know, um, and if you don't want to do that, just USB-C as well. But yeah, a good alternative to most expensive earphones and earbuds out there, and uh, I would recommend them. I do like my earbuds and my earphones, and as I say, there's a couple more pairs I've seen in uh, b and which I'm trying not to buy, but <clears throat> yeah, from Goodman's as well, and they look quite good. So yeah, that's just a quick video on that one today, and uh, cheers for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Siri.